everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I hope you're all well and safe in this crazy time when uh, nothing is like it used to be and you're just trying to stay sane really. Not reading too much news but then staying updated as well. Uh, today I'm here to do a tutorial for you with Kleena Palmer Designs new collection Blooming Awesome. She has released three different die sets, uh, flower, flower die sets that you can create cool flower arrangements with and wreaths and today I'm going to show you how to create a wreath with her collections. So the three different sets that Kleena has released in the Blooming Awesome collection is one first of all one of my favorite ones which is the Honeysuckle set uh, and it looks like this and it doesn't look as neat anymore because I've been removing the dies obviously to cut out um, die cuts but it's just really really cool and what you see directly here is uh, what makes this uh, collection stand out from anything else that you've seen in the past probably is the brad sets and these brad holes not sets brad holes um, connect together with these connectors to create arrangements and i'm going to show you how that works it's super easy it sounds more complicated than it is um, it's definitely not complicated it's just super easy you cut out your uh, die cuts and then you link them on, you link them up together and I'm going to show you how to do that. So that is one of my favorite sets which is the Honeysuckle and Fern set and then you got the Wild Rose and Gypsophilia set which looks like this and um, I've been using this die here to um, put together a wreath with. So if you get all of the three different sets you can like mix, mix and match and create um, like very cool and funky wreaths and arrangements. It's just to pierce stuff together. And then uh, the last set, which is this one, it's called the Gladi uh, Gladolia. Um, no, Gladioli. Gladioli. <laughs> My oh, word. Gladioli and eucalyptus. That's the right word. Um, and it looks like this. So I'm going to show you how to put together this wreath. And uh, without any further ado, let's start. To uh, create my wreath, you will need eight honeysuckle flowers, eight fern branches, and eight gypsophilia branches, and eight interlinkers, and eight brads. What we are going to do is put together a flower bouquet like this with the brad. And how we do that is that we, first of all, choose the branch or the flower that you want on the base of the wreath. And that is going to be the fern for me. So I pick that up in my hand and I then pick the second branch that I want, which is going to be this gypsophilia one. And I line it up together, so I line the hole together here, and then I pick the flower I want, which is the honeysuckle one. And here, you see, I've actually forgotten uh, to mention that, but I, the, the honeysuckle flower has two flowers on it, but I've chosen to actually cut that away on this arrangement, just because I want the main focus to be the big uh, honeysuckle flower. And when you've lined up all of those three die cuts, you then take the interlinker and you add it on the bottom, so behind the fern. And you then see that you can see through that those brad holes that's been added on top of each other. And you then take take your brad and you literally use the brad to haul to pull through the brad hole and then you just literally bend down the brad and you end up with and you just need to fix it a little bit you end up with something let me see here 
quite delicate, but here we go. So you end up with a bouquet like this. And when you put together all your 24 die cuts, you will end up with eight bouquets. So eight flower bouquets like this. And you can then start to add them together. What I'm then going to do is that I'm going to pick one of the bouquets that I've made. I'm going to turn it upside down and grab hold of the interlinker. I will then pick another one of the bouquets I've made and open up the brad and connect the interlinker with the brad of the other bouquet. It's a little bit complicated, but it's not. I think it's more complicated to uh, explain it. But you open one of the brads and then connect the interlinker with that brad. And continue doing that with all of your bouquets. And when you've connected the two bouquets, it will look something like this. When you have put it all together into a ring like this, a circle, you will um, see the shape <laughs> of the wreath much, much better. But it's not until you've actually turned it upside down that you are able to see how lovely. And here is when you can start covering the brads but because the brads are gold I don't think they it looks too bad actually um, that you can see it but you can put it together the wreath itself push the branches together a little bit and you end up with a less fluffy wreath By pushing in the die cuts a little bit more and you're just fixing the shape, you will end up with this lovely, lovely wreath that is just super lovely and can be put on a card. I mean, think about it. If you do a, an image, a colored image in the center, or you put like a sentiment in there, I mean, it's, it's super, super lovely. And uh, in my next video, I will show you how to put together a card with this wreath. Uh, so see you in my next video. Bye.